Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a whip and chat. If you do not know what a whip and chat is, that is when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress, and you can pull out whatever it is that you are working on and work work alongside with me. You can work on another craft project. You can do a household project. You can listen while you're driving, while you're at work, while you're running errands. Whatever it is that you want to be doing, there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat. So, let's get into it. So, I'm going to grab a couple colors here. Um, I have my notes on my computer here, per usual. I've been doing this the last couple weeks. So, if you see my arm cutting across the screen, then that's what's happening there. So, uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mostly diamond painting and other crafting-related content. And I am very much the conductor of the Hot Mess Express. Come join us. If you've been here before, hi, welcome back. It is always nice to see a friendly face. If you guys hear any uh, harumphing or noises or things like that in the background, my husband is in the room. Say hi, husband. Hello. That was very enthusiastic. So, how are you guys doing? Um, it's been a week, and I just want to say... Typically, I don't have a schedule at all, but the way I do my whip and chats is I usually record them Sunday and get them edited and go through the whole processing, the boring YouTube stuff, and then get it up for Monday morning. Uh, we've had a sick kiddo the last couple days, so that's been really fun. Um, if you've ever had to be trapped in a house with a tiny human who is sick, it's like life sucking. <laughs> Uh, and I can only imagine if this is the very first video that somebody's ever watched of mine and you're like, wow, no, I really do love my kid. I love her more than anything else, but it takes a whole other level of patience to deal with a sick kid because they're complaining about everything. They don't feel well, which like I totally understand, but then she'll whine about things that have nothing to do with being sick because she's like, well, mommy and daddy are giving me that little bit of extra attention, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, so I hope you guys all had a wonderful week and are excited for another upcoming week. I am super excited that we are in <laughs> Halloween season. Uh, if you guys are not Halloween people, what are you doing with your life? I'm really excited. My daughter seems to be really excited this year. We haven't gotten our pumpkins yet. That's something we usually do in October, which it is October now. So we are probably going to go and plan that out soon. Um, you don't want to go too soon because you don't want your pumpkins to go bad. But if you guys are people who like to carve pumpkins, I love to carve, carve pumpkins. Not so much because I like to actually carve them, but I really enjoy sunflower, sunflower, rewind, pumpkin seeds. I'm a seed person. I also really enjoy... Uh, sunflower seeds, which is why I said sunflower. But, uh, that's not the same symbol, is it? No. Um, I, my husband likes to paint them, but if you are somebody who likes to carve them, you can dunk the inside of the pumpkin or, or do, like, the spray of, like, Clorox bleach, and that helps extend the length of your pumpkin. Now, it's not going to last, like, a month. So don't, you know, be carving your pumpkin October 1st and be like, why isn't it working? And if you know, if you guys are people who know how to make it work, ouch, let me know down below. Guys, I'm a mess over here. Um, I need to change the manicure up a little bit here. If anybody has any tips, these are very much press-ons. I think I was talking about this in my last uh, video. But by the cuticles, I don't know if they're just not close enough to the cuticles or what, but my fingers are getting stuck in both my hair and my daughter's hair. And every time they get stuck in her hair, she's like, don't do that. As if I purposefully am getting them stuck in her hair. So, um, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm working on. This is Warm Witch from Diamond Art Club. I am loving this canvas, you guys. I am not normally like this kind of color palette. And I usually like a lot of variation and bright colors. But something's very soothing about this. Did I just pull out a color? That we don't need. Oh, there it is. Holy moly. Uh, yeah. And I ordered a couple 
drills from Tmaw. Somebody asked me, are you planning on doing anything to this canvas? And I was like, no, I don't think so. I don't think it needs anything. And then I was inspired by somebody else. Uh, shout out to you, Brandy. And she wasn't working on this canvas, but something that she was working on inspired me to get something for this canvas. So if it works out, I will be sharing that with you guys. If you are curious, I do post daily updates. Or I shouldn't say daily. Whenever I work updates... Um, I am not one of those people that sits down seven days a week to diamond paint. Uh, sometimes I don't have it in me. Sometimes I have other things to do. Or sometimes I just want to relax. But whenever I do work, I always post. So if you are not following me on Instagram, all of my information is always listed down below. Give me a follow. Check out my stories. I always post my daily updates. And then I have highlight bubbles on my profile there. So you can keep up. Or refer to them or whatever you want to do. So anyway, um, Monday was a pretty, it started out as a pretty rough day. I feel like lunch seems to be the good meal in our house for our kid. And then breakfast and or dinner are the ones that like we need to fight with her to eat. And I know before someone says to me like, oh yeah, kids can survive on air. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. But she will eat after she sees how upset mommy and daddy are. And it shouldn't have to keep coming to that. So uh, that's fun. Super fun. Um, and then we had a really good OT session. We were outdoors and um, her OT was like, you know, we might want to think of something, another option. Maybe you guys can come to the office. Which like, I've always said, like, why don't we just do it in their office? Um, I think she thought that we didn't want to do any indoor sessions. It's not my preference to have people in and out of my house because the less people in your house, the less likely you have to worry about germs and your house being spotless, which my house never is spotless. And if you're ever here, my house, uh, it looks lived in because it's lived in, you know? Um, and I feel like a lot of people are like that, but I feel like a lot of people are super apologetic about it. And I'm not like, it is what it is. This is what you see is what you're going to get. So, um, after that, we went to speech, our OT was a little bit late. So we were hoping to get some time. We were told we could have time to play on the, like we could play on the church playground. It's our sessions are at a church, um, at the church playground, like before speech starts, uh, because sometimes we have like an awkward amount of time after OT ends, which is at our house, and speech begins, which is at a church, like, five minutes away. So, um, we got there, and she got to play for just a few minutes, but it was nice that she was able to play on the church playground. I don't know why I'm, like, so befuddled here of my words. Um, but anyway, it was a good session, which, you know, if you were here last week... It was not a good session. <laughs> the session was fine. It was just afterwards. This kid and her transitions are... Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. But I started working on my woobles, which I have completed and I posted a video up on my channel. I know that many people here are strictly interested in diamond painting content, but if you have ever wanted to crochet or you love to crochet, definitely check out that video. I'll leave that linked up in the eye. It was a super fun unboxing of an all-in-one let me teach you how to crochet kit. And you guys, I loved it. The crochet bug has definitely hit. I've been crocheting a lot, like while we're downstairs hanging out on the couch. It's a lot if you, I mean, it, it makes me feel productive, but it, 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 my time is better spent than just dicking around on my phone and, you know, scrolling through reels. Not that I don't like reels, but, you know, we all spend time on our phones and my husband and I, we definitely fall into the tendencies of like when we're watching TV, we are both just on our phones because it's really like decompressed time and, uh, it's been nice to do something that's a bit more productive. Ooh, those just slid right out. They slid right out. If you guys are into color blocking, this is like a color blocker's dream. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, yeah. Oh. 
I just realized, I just told you guys, this week was really good for a speech. But I apparently didn't look at my notes, and I must have confused this week with last week. That's how you know, like, I'm a real-life mom, because I can't keep... Like, at the end of the day, I'll say to my husband, what did we do today? So, I lied to you guys. Sorry, I do apologize. Um, speech, the session went well, and then when it was over, she was crawling on the floor. She didn't get a sticker, so she had, like, a total freak-out meltdown. And, like, even her teacher was like, Briar, you have to... Like, basically, like, get your crap together, girlfriend. You can't be doing this. You know, here I am sitting here thinking, yeah, Monday was a good day. Wow. As Owen Wilson would say, wow. That was probably a really terrible Owen Wilson impersonation. Anyway. Um, but it was one of those days where she was... I want to go to the market. I don't want to go to the market. I want to take deep breaths. I don't want to take deep breaths. I want to take deep breaths. I don't want to take deep breaths. And finally, we just said to her, Briar, if you want to take deep breaths, take deep breaths. Nobody is going to stop you. Nobody's going to force you. Just like at this point, mommy and daddy are fried. You want to do it. You don't want to don't do it. Nobody's forcing you. And she was acting like she was being tortured. So, you know, what a day in the life is like with our kid. I love her, but man, is she exhausting. And I know anyone who has toddlers, like, I feel you on this girlfriend. Um, so, solidarity to my other toddler moms out there. Uh, so, yeah. We finally decided to take her to lunch because she was screaming in the car about how hungry she was. And she wanted pizza. So, we took her to, like, a local pizza joint. We got there, and then she legit was like, I'm not hungry. One of the things that's super infuriating, and um, tell me if you guys are in the same boat or not, is when your child tells you exactly what it is that they want to eat, you get it for them, you make it for them, you buy it for them, whatever, and then all of a sudden, they don't want that. I don't, I don't want that. That's not what I want. Like, oh my god, you just asked for it. So, um, more tantrums ensued, and I was like, if we don't just go, like, let's just take care of this. We went to lunch, she cried, and then we ended up going to Giant, which is a supermarket, and uh, we, we got the important stuff. We got to see Marty, which is that robot. We got to get some fruit, and we got to get some Paw Patrol cheese, because that's what everybody wants. And then uh, we got to video chat with my sister, and there's nothing funnier than seeing the confused look on kids' faces when you try to explain to them family like she kept telling me that my sister was her sister and I was like no she's your aunt and Briar's like no she's my sister and I was like all right well I don't know how that works but um she's just funny because like she knows who her grandparents are and she knows who her parents are but then when you say that those grandparents are my parents she's like what no that can't be you know um and video chatting with my sister is always a trip I don't know it's such a weird thing. Like, I grew up, and obviously technology existed. Uh, video chatting was not, like, a readily accessible thing. You know, we had dial-up, because I'm old. But uh, it's just so weird that, like, literally with a click of a button, you can be video chatting with someone down the street, across the world, wherever. Uh, so that was fun. And then um, we went outside to play for, like, an hour or so. Uh, my daughter, if you guys saw the story, the whip and chat I did with my neighbor who decided to just come into my house, um, my daughter now does an impression of her. If you guys haven't seen that, I will do my best to remember to link that up in the eye. So she, long story short, she came into our house and she, according to her, yelled out, is everyone okay? So she's one of those people that sounds like... She smokes a carton of cigarettes a day. I mean, she very well could. She's always out there. And so now my daughter will do it and we'll be like, well, what does she sound like? And she'll go, is everyone okay? <laughs> and it makes me laugh every single time. But now I'm realizing this is conversation that should only be happening within our own home. Like she should not be doing this when we're out, outside, out in public because, you know, uh, but it's funny, ever since that happened, we've seen our neighbor, like, every single day. And she's been avoiding us like crazy. 
So, um, you know, <laughs> uh, we hung out for like a while and I have a chaise lounge outside, like a lawn chair one. And then we had a camping chair out there from therapy and I taught her how to relax. And so she's out there with her arms behind her head, her feet propped up and she's like, mommy, I'm just chilling. And she just kept saying it. It was fun. It was a nice turn of events because the first half of the day was, oh my God, exhausting. Exhausting. And this is why, like, parents get such a bad rap because they'll have those kinds of moments and other people will witness those kinds of moments. But other people aren't witnessing the moments where your child is literally screaming at you because they're so hungry and then you get them food and now they're not hungry. Or, you know... Because they didn't get the right sticker. You know, people aren't seeing these kinds of situations. <laughs> but these are real life. And then uh, we talked to my parents. And we're going to try to see my parents this week. And go visit a zoo. My mom, there's a zoo near her. Where you can feed the giraffes. And my mom is like super, super into giraffes. Wait, if you guys... What? That was this week we were planning? No, for, for this coming week. Oh. So, if you guys were uh, fans, I guess, I don't know what the right word, term is, of April the Giraffe. Like, my mom was, like, a super fan. I was super into April the Giraffe. She was pregnant at the same time I was, the first time. Um, and it just... But my mom is, like, uber fan of a giraffe. And, you know. Anyway, so, April the Giraffe was, if I'm not mistaken, she was put down. We're going to get off that topic. I don't want to just be a total downer. Anyway, Tuesday was a super gross and rainy day. We went to skating. Um, there are definitely more kids in this session than there was the last session. Uh, but it sucked because like my husband had to drop us off at the front. But he didn't want to block the entrance because, you know, there were other people coming in and out. And every time he does this, he gets so soaking wet and cold. And then he's like freezing in the ice rink because it's like 43 degrees blowing fans and he's wearing a soaking wet sweatshirt so that was fun um but then we went to a mall and brian really wanted to get her there are new paw patrol build-a-bears from the paw patrol movie now if you're not into paw patrol i'm not going to sit here and go on and on about it for like ever but right now, the only ones that are in store is the new character. Her name's Liberty. She's a long-haired dachshund. And she's super, super cute, but she's only from the movie. Like, she's not in the TV show. And I don't know if they're adding her to the TV show. Uh, I don't work for Nickelodeon, contrary to my daughter's beliefs. But we got her the Liberty, and she was so excited. And listen, if you haven't purchased a Build-A-Bear in a long time, they are expensive. And then, as, like, if I got just a teddy bear, like, I would buy just the teddy bear. But because this is a Paw Patrol dog, you have to buy the outfit. And then they were like, well, do you want the pup pack and the sound box? Nope, I just want the dog and the outfit she got. <laughs> um, but the girl who helped us was absolutely fantastic. She did a really good job. You could tell she loves working with kids and um, was sweet as can be. And... Briar was super excited to have her liberty. Then, we are now in a lovely phase. I don't know it's a phase. It's, I know, I try to remind myself of my kids doing something that's driving me nuts or pissing me off or upsetting me or whatever. That like, this is totally normal behavior. This is very age appropriate. All of her peers are doing the same thing. And I just try to remind myself that so that I don't go crazy. Um, she... Walked out of the store and then she immediately wanted something from somewhere else. And we were like, that's not how this works, Briar. Like, we brought you here. She's under the impression that any store that we go to for literally anything, it's because we're going to get her something. And I know people are going to go, well, then you have to stop buying her stuff. Well, we're aware that that's how it works. But also, she doesn't get something every time we go to a store. She just thinks she deserves something. So, we went to FYE. My husband... FYE is one of those stores that usually has pretty good deals on Pops, and my husband uses them for work. Um, if you guys don't know, my husband's the data monster. He customizes Funko Pops. Uh, all of his information is always listed down below. Go follow him on YouTube. Check out his Etsy shop. 
um, all that fun stuff. And there was, I, you know, when, when he's in a store looking at something for himself, which, like, he's totally entitled to look at something for himself, um, contrary to our daughter's beliefs, uh, I have to keep her occupied. And sometimes that means going and looking at stuff that we're not going to buy, because what else am I supposed to do in a store full of stuff? Just make her sit on the floor? Like, so we went over and there was like the, not the Beanie Babies, whatever they're called now, the, the Thai stuffed animals with like the big eyes and um, like the squish mallows or whatever they're called. And then she found the one bucket that had green, not green, blue dragons. They were named Sapphire and there were three of them. And they were like, I don't know, maybe six inches. They were like Beanie Baby sized, I guess. And something about them, she was like, but I want these. And I said to her, Briar Girl, you just got a brand new Liberty. You don't need anything else. And it was hard for her to understand because she wanted it. And I'm like, I understand you want it, sweetheart, but you have to be grateful for the things you have instead of being upset about the things you don't have. You know, my child has more than she needs. My child has more than so many other kids out there. And while she does say please and thank you for things, like the actual concept of appreciation is totally lost on her. And I know some people are going to say, you know, she's just three. She might be, but I, we're trying to make this not be. We need to teach her now. Yeah. She doesn't need to grow up and be, be spoiled. Um, or to the point where she literally thinks like that she is missing out on things because mommy and daddy are saying no. So anyway, I said to her, okay, well, we have to go, sweetheart, so you can put them back in the basket. And she didn't want to do that. I said, okay, well, would you rather bring them up to the front and the people who work here can put them away? And she said, yeah. And I think in her mind, she thought if I bring it to the front, like where the cash register is, then we can buy it. Which, again, isn't how this works. And she got so upset. And I kept telling her, it's okay, sweetheart. You're all right. You don't need these. I know you want them. And I know it's sad that we have to leave them. But you'll be all right. And they'll be all right here. And the girl behind the counter kept telling Briar, like, you know, next time you come, you can come and check on them, see how they're doing, come say hi, which made Briar a little bit happier, but like weeping, tears streaming down her face. I love them so much. And I'm like, I know you do, sweetheart. And it's hard in those moments. It's really hard because you can see like she's really she's genuinely sad and not just like, oh, man, mom and dad didn't buy me a toy, but like. She already attached emotion to these stuffed animals that she doesn't own. Um, if anyone is actually watching me diamond paint right now, this pen has no wax in it. I've been using it to help correct. When you're color blocking like this, it's really obvious when they're off and I don't have a straightener nearby. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and then Briar, she finally changed her mind. And she wanted to put them back in the basket. So we put them back in the basket and then she's standing in the middle of the store, like, literally tears just streaming down her face. <laughs> Bye-bye, dinosaurs! I love you! Or dragons, whatever they were. And the girl behind the counter just looked at me and she said, If you give me a minute, I, I can get it for her. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I, I appreciate it. She wanted to purchase it for my daughter. And as much as I appreciate it, because I could see the girl felt bad that Briar was so sad. And, and she was being really good about it, you know. It was hard for her to leave those toys there. And to to accept that they weren't coming home with us. And as much as I appreciate this young girl's gesture, you know, we we just bought her something. She doesn't need anything else. So um it was it was a bit of an interesting day. And then we went to the food court and had some lunch. And um do you guys still have salad works where you are? I was talking to somebody about this recently. Salad works has definitely gone downhill, in my opinion. Um, the girl that was working at the salad work, she literally took a phone call while making the person's meal in front of me. And then she just finally said, I'm going to have to call you back. And I was thinking like, shouldn't you have not made the phone call while you had customers in line and then people behind them? I just thought it was very strange. Uh, but she was one of those people that acted like the customers were infringing on her personal time, which like you're at work. 
I mean, for all I know, she owns it. I, I doubt it. Uh, she was like 20. What? That woman was way older than me. Right. Anyway. Um, but it was funny. When we left the Build-A-Bear and uh, we were walking down the hallway, Briar and Brian saw a little girl who got excited about Liberty. And then they saw her in the food court while I was getting my lunch. And he said that that little girl got a Liberty also. Oh my God, there is so much static. I don't know if it's in my wax or what. Anybody else have that problem? You like go to pick up drills and they just like Mexican jumping beans. They like scatter. Um, off topic. Anyway, so we did that. And then we went to... My husband wanted to stop at another place real quick. So my daughter and I sat in the car. It was easier than taking her in and then her being upset and disappointed again. Um, so we sat in the car and listen, I'm not going to sit here and like mom shame someone for what they're doing. But can somebody please explain to me why people think things are okay? Like I understand there are people out there who... Car seat safety isn't important to them. And for me, car seat safety is very important. Uh, for the record, my daughter is still rear-facing. She is well within the limits. And um, she will size out for height before weight. It's, it, it, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But while we were sitting in the parking lot, this like neon green sports car pulls up. And the guy gets out of the driver's seat. And then the woman gets out of the passenger seat with a toddler, I would say like one, one and a half, just sitting on her lap. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe. Now, for all I know, they came from the other side of the parking lot and they thought it was easier. But I was like, you can still get a ticket in a parking lot. You know, if a cop saw you driving with a child on your lap, like a la, was that Britney Spears that did that? Free Britney. Um... Which, I mean, I guess Britney's freed. But, anybody watch that Netflix documentary, by the way? The Britney Spears one? I have not watched it yet, but it is on my radar. So anyway, that was a lot about Tuesday. And then, we ended up... I just realized all of our candy and stuff is still in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. I told you about it. I know, and I forgot about it. My daughter, we stopped at a Gertrude Hawk on the way out of the mall... And she got to pick a couple, like, chocolates. And I got just a piece of fudge for myself. When my husband put it in the fridge, and I totally forgot that it was in the fridge. Yes, he reminded me, but then it's, like, out of sight, out of mind. That's why all leftovers go to die in our fridge. That and I don't like to eat leftovers. Are you guys team leftovers? Let me know. We used to have a roommate. I don't want to call him a roommate. We used to have somebody live with us. And he was, like garbage gut mcgee he would eat any leftovers that we put in our fridge we'd be like hey buddy you want some dinner and he'd be like all right and he'd eat everything and it saved us because we were just going to throw it away or you know pray it didn't go bad which it usually did so um we did that and then uh it's so funny watching her in her room she was super excited about having liberty so she was in there and she was, you know, using different voices. And it's just really fun to watch, like, imaginative play with small kids. And I love just watching how she can keep herself entertained. And it also, at the same token, she was super into it. So she just never went to sleep. Like, it took forever. I was like, kid, go to sleep. So I did a couple unboxings. Um, like I said, I put the Woobles one up. I have another one coming this week, uh, craftably unboxing. And then Wednesday we had kinder music and I got to tell you guys, this kid is not the same kid that we've had. She, I have never been more proud of her, like engaging and participating in something that I did that day. She sang every single song. She did every activity she was singing and dancing and participating and giggling and having a good time. And, like, that's that's what we want to see. And I feel like we don't get to see that enough because she's so anxious. And I don't know if she's self-conscious or I don't know what's going through her head. And it was just, it was absolutely fantastic to see it. And then um, Briar is the oldest kid 
at our music class. And there's a little girl who she's bigger than my daughter, but she's like a year and a half younger than her. And they bumped heads while playing and she, you know, got sad. But then there was a little guy who, if I had to guess, he's probably like one and a half, maybe two. And Briar barely, like, touched him. Barely. They were both bending over to pick the same thing. And this poor little boy acted like he, I don't want to say acted like, but he was so upset and so, like, <sighs> it hurt so bad. And I, fe I felt terrible because, you know, who am I to tell you that that didn't hurt, you know? I, it just, it was very sad. And, you know, Briar felt terrible. And it, when I tell you guys, like, it was literally like, boop. It was, it was nothing. But to that I little boy, yeah, to that little boy, it was a lot. And, um, I think. I'm sure it caught him by surprise. Yeah. And I, I think that was his dad with him. And you could see his dad was, like, trying to comfort him. But he, he wasn't upset. Because nothing that Briar did was malicious. Like, they were literally both bending up to pick the same toy up at the same time. Um. But, yeah, it was really great to see her participate in kinder music because as much as my kid is, like, she loves other kids and she's a super friendly child, she's also incredibly slow to warm, like, very, very slow to warm. And she knows the songs, but she doesn't want to sing them more. She knows the activities, but doesn't want to participate. And the woman who runs the classes... You can tell that she's good at what she does and she enjoys what she's doing because she can read the room really well. And like that little boy, he loves music. So when they do any songs, she makes sure to have like the music playing in the background and not just her singing with her ukulele or whatever else they do. And then um, it was such a gorgeous day. It's been... Weather here is so weird. It can be like 40 degrees in the morning and then like 85 in the afternoon. And it's killing me because I don't know how to dress my child. I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, do I put her in something that she's going to be too hot in later? Or do I go, okay, she's probably going to be cold this morning, but we can put a jacket on and then hopefully it won't be too hot later. I don't know. Um, but we went for a walk and like my neighborhood, I live in a neighborhood that has, it's like a townhouse community. And nobody here decorates or gives out candy. Like, when we trick-or-treated here last, there were two houses that gave out candy. And one that had, like, a bucket on their front stoop for, you know, non-food items for kids with allergies and stuff like that. But the neighborhood across the street from us? Yeah. They give out good candy. We've gotten some full-size candy bars there, which... Listen, you're the VIP if you're handing out full candy size, full size candy bars. Let's face it. And then she just likes to go and look at decorations. So we walked across the street. And when we do the loop, it's about half a mile. So it's not a super long walk. Um, she was like, oh my gosh, this house has pumpkins. And I taught her what a wreath was. And she was like, this house has a wreath too. And just loved it. And then there's a house. It's visible from her bedroom window which is the back side of our house uh and it overlooks like the cross street not like our street that we live on and they have it it is probably 10 to 15 feet high it is an inflatable stack of three pumpkins and they also have uh like a dead dog house and I want to say it was Frankenstein and something else. And they've got like four or five inflatables in their yard. And they keep them up all the time unless it's windy or bad weather and they'll deflate it and then they'll reinflate it later. Last year was hella windy. I remember it kept like... Not Toppling over. <laughs> yeah. And then Briar would be like, the, the pumpkins are gone. We're like, it's all right. You know, but... um. So we went and we looked at all the houses and I asked her the other day and she's like, Mommy, I love Halloween. And I'm like, you do? If you guys don't know, Halloween is my jam. I love, love, love Halloween. I love dressing up. I love the decor. I love the time of year. I love everything about Halloween. And um, it just really warmed my heart to hear how much she seems to really enjoy it as well. Uh, even though last year we totally did not do Halloween because of COVID, uh, for our purposes, we didn't think it was worth it to be out and about. 
Uh, and then the year before, so I live in an area, if you guys have this where you are, let me know. Um, but I grew up an hour and a half away from here and we did not have this. Not everywhere that I live, like not every town or township or borough does Halloween on Halloween. And so you also have to figure out when Halloween, like when trick or treat is. And the day that we had trick or treat scheduled for where we lived, uh, two years ago, it ended up being a horrible, horrible day, but we did a, we went to a senior housing community and got to trick or treat. Like the old folks had little table set up. It was super, super sweet. And a lot of these people don't get visitors and they adored it. One guy kept trying to sneak my daughter. And this is not an exaggeration. Like 15, maybe more of those individually wrapped Rice Krispie treats. And the fact that my husband chuckled just goes to, to prove like, we were like, okay, it's okay. You, she doesn't need any more. You know, she was, she was almost two at that point. I was like, no, 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 we don't need any more. And every time we would walk around, he'd be like, hey, kid, here, take another one. <laughs> hey, kid, here, look. You know, it was like a drug deal gone bad, but in, in, in exchange of things, it was, here, here's a pre-wrapped Rice Krispie treat. Just make me smile. And it was great. that We had so much fun, but I'm excited to take her trick-or-treating again this year. Um, it's weird that there's, like, a trick-or-treat date and then a rain date, because, like, when I grew up, when I was young, a young lady, um, it didn't matter if it was raining, snowing, hailing, like, you went trick-or-treating. And if you didn't go trick-or-treating, you didn't have another day to make it up. So, like, I remember trick-or-treating with, like, a winter coat on before and, like, rain gear and a snow hat and all that fun stuff. But that is not the case up here. It's very weird to me. And my husband grew up up here, but it was not that way when he was a kid, right? No, the same way. Okay. Oh, so you had scheduled Halloweens or you had Halloween on Halloween? No, we had scheduled Halloweens. Super weird to me. Different counties. Yeah. So, like, we live near the county line, so, like, hypothetically, if we really felt like it, we could, like, go to mul multiple neighborhoods and go trick-or-treating on, like, multiple days. Which, like, you know, when she's older, that might be fun, but, like, no thanks. I just want to get our hall, walk around, and then come home and bask in the excitement and the, the happiness and, like, all that stuff. But, um, she loves it, and she was so excited to go out there, so I can't wait... Till we can do some more fall activities with her. And um, I really want to know like what she thinks of trick-or-treating this year. Because it could go one of two ways. One, where she's super, super excited to be out there trick-or-treating. Or two, where she's super nervous and doesn't want to ask for candy. And wants to just be, like, take a step back. Now, I'm just going to put this out here. Here's a PSA from me to you. Um, you don't have to listen to me because I'm not your boss, but if somebody comes up to your door, I don't care how old they are. I don't care if they're wearing a costume or not. If you have a kid that's 17 years old in a full costume and they ring your doorbell and they say trick or treat and you don't give them candy, like why deny somebody of the joy i am one of those people i am almost 40 years old and i love trick-or-treating and i will go out there with my bag and i will collect my own candy and i know people are like but you have a kid yeah before i had a kid i borrowed other people's kids because it's frowned upon to just have an adult come to your door but if a kid doesn't say trick-or-treat to you don't deny them the candy like especially with there are so many kids who have anxiety disorders, who or who have speech delays, or who are nonverbal, you know, it just makes them feel more upset. And then to be excluded because an adult that doesn't know them is making the rules. Just let everybody who wants to participate in on Halloween participate on Halloween. Let them have fun. Let them... I'd ra much rather have, you know, a teenager come to our door. Not that anyone will be at our door because we'll be out trick-or-treating, but... Hypothetically, I'd much rather have. Remember when we lived in our old house and like hid with the lights off? And oh my god! Oh my god! Let me tell that story in a second. But we, like, if there was a kid who was definitely much older and they were in the spirit, I'm not going to deny them that love because it doesn't go away. It's an all ages show. It should be, yeah. and it's unfortunate that people are like, oh, 
you're too old to trick or treat. And when I used to borrow my friend's kids, we had that the last year that I went with them where one house is like, just so you know, this is the last year we'll be providing you candy. You guys are too old for this. And I was like, I said something. I was like, it's not really your place to tell somebody that they're too old to trick or treat. If they wanted to be doing this, let them do it. Also, wouldn't you rather have like a 16 year old kid out there trick or treating than like TPing someone's house? Not that that's the only other option on Halloween, but okay. So our old house, which subsequently is a quarter of a mile away. Um, my husband, my husband would be out on the, on the porch and then he would come inside and he would turn off the lights and there were teenagers who were like, Hey man, we know you're in there. We can see you're inside. <laughs> He was watching TV, but he didn't have any candy because we weren't giving out any candy because he worked until 10 o'clock at night or 930 at night. And so this like teenager is like yelling at him from the, our porch being like, hey, man, just give us some candy. And he's like, nobody's home. Like, <laughs> no, please. You know, he, anytime he had to go outside, he was like, oh, man, I got to keep the lights off. Because yeah. And After that, yeah. Even on our back porch, people would be like, is there somebody over there? And I'd be like, God damn it. Yeah. He's like, no, I just want to be outside for a second. Jeez. But that was funny. Oh, man. But yeah, I we don't... Because of my husband's old work schedule, um, if I was out doing, like, Halloween stuff and he wasn't able to come with us, my husband was usually working till pretty late. So even if he opened, he still... Was like barely dead. right, and so he didn't. We didn't keep the the pantry stashed with Halloween candy, and um, it made some kids really mad. Here's the thing: the universal sign for "I have candy" is porch lights being on. So if the porch lights are off, they're not giving out candy. But I will say it's really annoying when you pull up to a house that does have the porch lights on, and then they don't answer the door, or they're like, "Oh, sorry," like then turn off your lights. Um, but I love that I grew up in a neighborhood that had like cul-de-sac after cul-de-sac and there was so much trick-or-treating to be had. And I'm so excited that my daughter has that ability with the development across the street, because like I said, our neighborhood, like they, they don't care. Um, and it's interesting because more kids have moved in since we moved into this neighborhood and I still feel like they don't decorate so and then my husband and i we dropped our hello fresh down to three meals a week in case you guys are curious we do three meals a week and we do two servings and it is more than enough food for the two of us and the baby uh more than enough and he did a bacon jalapeno mac and cheese oh my god you guys it was not anything that's like oh i couldn't replicate this or i couldn't do this on my own but let me tell you it was delicious delicious that was one of the better meals we've had in a while i think um and then thursday my husband took the car to get inspected and literally like as he's getting his stuff ready to go briar's like what are we gonna do and i was like nothing and what do you want to do and she's like let's go somewhere and i'm like daddy's taking the car now we have a second car but it's 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 like a personal use car it's not like a family use car um so it didn't, it wouldn't have helped us anyway. Uh, but man, this kid is always like, well, what are we going to do next? Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Who are we going to see? I'm like, oh my God, kid, can we just like tonight? She's like, so we're just going to hang out. Yep. Well, what are we going to do after that? Go to bed. What? I want to do something. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, child. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. I don't know what was going on. Like, our neighbor's dog was going, like, ape shit. He was barking like crazy that day. And, uh, our backyard. So, I live in a townhouse. <clears throat> excuse me. And m there's four of our houses. And then there's a break. And then there's four more houses. And, like, it just keeps doing that until the development ends. So, we were out there. Well, inside. And... I was with my daughter. I was at the dining room table. And from the dining room table, I can see half of my neighbor's yard. The half that's closest to her house, I can't see because there's a shed in between each house. 
that's attached to the homes um, and it was impeding the view. But she was out there as her dog was going crazy, 100% talking to herself, a cigarette in one hand, the other arms just flailing around. And if there was somebody that was by her house, which again, I shouldn't say 100% by talking to herself because I couldn't see but why, if there was someone behind you, would you not turn around? It just is very, very weird. And I'm like, uh, you know, and it, like I said, we have seen her literally every single day, every single day since then. I just found it odd. Anyway, uh, and I said to my daughter, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get you out of the chair because like if something was going on, I wanted my kid to not be trapped in her high chair. You know, well, things like, kick some ass if oh my there. God. And the doors were locked and all that stuff. But still, uh, clearly, my neighbor has already come into my house once. What's going to stop her from trying it again? But I ordered some special drills from Tmall. And I saw that uh, Diamond Drills USA has glow drills for their October. So I think I'm going to pick some of them up now. Um... I don't know. I'm just, as much as I don't love the way they feel to work, I'm really enjoying being able to add something special that makes my kit different than everybody else's. Um, apparently my computer is making noise. That's fun. Uh, and then we went to a cupcake place and we picked up a couple cupcakes and um, had a little bit of a weird experience. Like there was a woman who I'm pretty sure that she was homeless and I couldn't tell if everything was okay because she seemed a little frantic. Uh, but they didn't look worried. So I was like, well, if they're not worried, I'm not going to be worried. But, you know, just kept our eyes peeled. And then the next day, subsequently, we were like, we went to, they had story time at the same bakery. And I purchased a ticket. Um... Got everything we needed to get. And I'm a little bit frustrated because it said on the instructions, like if there's going to be a second parent or a second child, like another ticket has to be purchased. But I know that the family next to us 100% didn't buy a second ticket because they were put at a table for two people and they kind of just squished four people at that table because um, each table has your name on it. So, anyway, we did that, and then we, get some more water. my husband went and ran some errands while I was there with my daughter, and it was really cute. They had, like, a coloring page, and then they had one of the employees come out and read a book, and then they all got to decorate a cupcake that was themed with the book. So, the book was called The Bad Seed. Now, I've never read this book before. But I had an inkling about what it was about before we went in. And um, I don't like, this is a personal preference, and you don't have to agree with me on this. I don't like when you say that a child is a bad child. Children are not bad. Children are inherently good. They learn bad as they, they get older. They may have bad behaviors. They may not act properly, but they are not bad people. There's a difference between a good person doing something wrong and a bad person. And that's exactly what the book was about. Like, I was a very bad, bad seed. And it's like, well, I don't, I think that what you're doing is bad behavior, which is not the same thing as being bad. But I know somebody out there is gonna be like, that's just semantics. But it is what it is, right? Like, uh, this is how I feel. You don't have to agree with me, but if you do, let me know down below. Um, but she, speaking of bad behavior, did not want to listen at all. Uh, they put us at the very end seat, which was near all of their merchandise. So she was trying to grab everything off the shelf. She was like, I want this. Trying to touch that. I want that. I'm like, Briar, we are not here to buy anything. We are literally here for story time. So, um... It made it very, very difficult, and I took her outside, and I had a conversation with her, and I was like, look, if you don't start to listen, and you don't change your attitude, I'm just going to call daddy, and we're going to go home, and she, one of the things that 
triggered me, if you will, is that she just looked me dead in the eyes and she's like, I don't love you. I only love daddy. Now, I know my kid loves me. But damn, you guys, words hurt. I don't care if she's three or not. They hurt. And as a parent, even though her words or behaviors can be triggering, you, I really try my best. Sometimes I fail epically at it, but I really try my best to put her behaviors and her actions and her thoughts ahead of my own. Because I can deal with my emotions better than she can. She, When she's acting out, that's her way of saying, I need you to listen to me. I need to be heard. I need to be seen. I need to be, I need to be reassured that everything's going to be okay. But in that same moment, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to scream. And it was a horrible, horrible time. And we were going to go to, we found a taco truck. I actually found them on Instagram. That is in that area. And this place wasn't super close to us. It's about 35 minutes from us. And so we were going to go get tacos. And then it was just like, okay, we're not going to go get tacos. We're not going to do anything to reward your bad behavior. If you are not going to do the things that are asked of you and expected of you, you're not going to get a reward, which in this case was delicious tacos. Um, excuse me. So uh, we came home. And, uh, I was having a conversation with Leona about this. I feel like, I know I love my kid and I know other people know I love my kid, but it is so maddening to watch her make me be the worst version of myself. And I know that speaks more about me than my child, but oh my God, is it hard? And like, you know, I know there are people out there who would rather keep their content all upbeat and positive and, you know, only show you a curated version of themselves or what they want people to see. But, like, this is real life. Being a parent is hard. Being a wife is hard. Uh, being a friend is hard. And I am going to show you all of those dark and messy aspects of my life. Uh, and, you know... People are either here for all of it or what they want to pick and choose. And so, you know, I hope, I know a lot of people appreciate that what I bring to the table is, is real life and honest. And somebody told me recently, they said, you're not a hot mess. You're exactly like the rest of us. And I mean, I've never claimed to not be like the rest of us. I mean, I'm definitely weird on my own. Don't get me wrong. But you know, if you guys are, you want to hop on, choo-choo. So, anyway, I don't want to sadden myself too much on that. But it was hard. It was it was one of those days it was really, really hard. We actually took all of her toys, but she got to keep five toys. Um, three of which are Paw Patrol toys, no surprise. And um, a couple other things. And then she got one of her playhouses back. And then she got two stuffed animals and Liberty. Liberty has been going with her everywhere. She's up in her room. She's back downstairs with us. Uh, let me tell you. Paw Patrol. Not Paw Patrol. Um, Build-A-Bear. If you're watching this, can you please, for the love of God, can you please make the helmet, the ear holes, easier to get the ears into? Because, listen, it's a long-haired dachshund. The hair goes the opposite way. And then she's like, why does it look like that? And then I have to dig it all out. And then she takes it off again and goes, Mommy, put the helmet back on because she can't put the helmet on. Please, make the helmet easier. From signed, one frustrated mother, please make the helmet easier. <laughs> you know there's somebody listening to this right now, nodding and going, Oh my God. Yes, please. <laughs> it's so annoying. But we did that. And then uh, we let her know, like, you can earn your other toys back. But it's nothing's guaranteed, kid. So if you just continue to not listen, then we're going to continue to not give you your toys back. She also has far too many toys and we've wanted to for a year now rotate her toys we do need to get a better storage unit um we wanted to get a i don't remember the official term of it but like one of those staircase Ugalaga. tier from uh not target um ikea. ikea but that's another story for another day um anyway so 
we did that. And then I got to John to join um, Jen over at DP Addiction Adventures on her live. It's been a lot of fun being part of this collab for the DP Monster Mash. If you guys are unaware, all of the creators that are part of this collab are all participating on each other's platforms. So I've been live on a few of their channels. Um, you know, it's it's just been a lot of fun to, to do that and to be included in that. And uh, continue to tag me when you guys are posting your progress or final photos because I love seeing that. And the whole point, I, I've said this before, but the whole point of doing diamond painting events is to build a community, to find people who are working on a canvas you've never seen before and spark that conversation, to talk to somebody who's working on the same canvas in you, but they're doing something different to it than yours, or they're working from a different angle and start that conversation. There's so many ways to just support one another, and I love the ability to do that through diamond painting events. Um, sure, there are people out there who like strictly are doing these events because they want to win prizes, but there's nothing competitive about diamond painting. It's not about how many canvases you've completed or how quickly you can do them or how many you can do in a short time span. It's about what it brings to the table. For me, it helps with relaxation and anxiety and depression. And um, I'm very open about some of my mental health struggles. And I provide a safe space if you are struggling to reach out or to share your story. Um, so I just, I love that I have found so many people, like, simply through participating in diamond painting events. And I, I think that's fantastic. And um, if you guys did not know, Alice in a Winter Wonderland is happening again in January. I feel so weird to, like, be like, hey, don't forget... But it's already fall and like I don't want to be like uh, the new year will be here before before you guys even realize it. But like the new year will be here before you guys even realize it. And um, I'm here for it. If you guys want more information, um, I will link the Alice in a Winter Wonderland uh, playlist and or the video in the corner. This is obviously for 2021. Uh, but the same rules apply. So I'm really, really excited. I hope that you guys will want to participate again and make it even bigger than last year. Uh, if you are a small business owner and you have any interest in, uh, working as a sponsor or you want to collab in some sort of way, just hit me up. All my information is always down below. Uh, unfortunately, my kiddo woke up yesterday super full of snot and um hopefully it's just something that'll run its course quickly we watched a couple movies yesterday we watched the tigger movie and then we watched princess and the frog for the seven billionth time that's her favorite disney princess and her favorite disney movie like of life um and today she woke up and she was still super snotty not quite as bad as yesterday but I got some elderberry gummies today for her. Uh, I usually make my own elderberry syrup. But I don't really feel like going through the process right now of making it when I could just buy it off of Amazon. Yeah, I know it's not the same thing. And I know it's not, like, pure. It's, like, literally a gummy that has some elderberry uh, syrup in it. Sorry, my fan just got really loud. Usually when it gets, like... An electronic gets out loud. It's like, oh, hey, just so you know, this is the warning before I explode or die. So, um, I think that's going to be a good place to stop. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. So sorry, you guys. Uh, hopefully you don't have earbuds in. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this one. Look how cute this is. Her little tea kettle, stack of books. I am loving this canvas. I will definitely be doing a post review on this. If you guys haven't checked out my Angel de los Muertos post review, I will leave that up in the eye. That is the last canvas that I have completed. Um, but that's all I got for you guys for this one. If you enjoyed this content and you would like to see videos like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up!
one real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record while my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so, so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys! <laughs>